Good morning, welcome to Nigeria Now, showing on your digital first Pan African News Network, where we read out some stories on the national dailies each day, of course, in Nigeria. And on today's edition, the big stories, of course, is not more than the APC uh, pegging their national uh, ticket, presidential ticket, to 100 million naira. Of course, that shows uh, on various newspapers this morning. And we have other stories like the education sector in Nigeria issues surrounding it and other political issues. And analyzing some of the stories is Adebayo Fajimi this morning. You're welcome to the show. Thank you very much. How are you doing? I'm very fine. Let's begin from, of course, the Daily Trust newspaper. Uh, the big story is APC on the fire for pegging presidential forms at 100 million naira we have four riders the first governorship forms go for 50 million naira uh, it's a recipe for fraud done others say it's plots to disenfranchise us aspirants are saying and uh, nec is passed seated to nwc for 90 days i uh, i could remember vividly uh, when our uh, pdp pegged theirs uh, a couple of months ago it generated a lot of you know controversy talking about the money some said our oh, 20 million was okay some said 40 was maybe fair enough but now we're seeing 100 that's over uh times two of what the pdp has offered uh, what is your take on this story well this we are only uh encourage money backs in our policy no doubt about that because um if you look at that money it's very huge and uh if uh for, for you to be able to come out and say you want to you know um you know obtain that kind of form is either you are like a Dangote, a Denoga, you, you must be, you know, the richest of the richest. The richest of the so but but you know, you know, if you look at you know most of these people, you know, coming out to to say they want to fight, they want to contest, what is their track record, what is their source of income, how did they get the money? And you the unfortunate part is that there are some of you know uh, there are some public servants, you know, in the present administration still mm. saying that they want to come out where are they getting the money are they going to sustain you know this move that is the problem so uh this we only encourage money bags it, it will encourage carpet baggers it will you know put uh, the will of just a few people you know over the popular will because there is no way you know somebody you know because th there are instances you you have somebody who is loved by people but who doesn't have the money so it will only kill you know it, it will do a lot of damage to our democracy you know uh, you know imposing the will of a few people you know just you know over the will of you know uh, of our uh, popular people okay um on nigerian news direct uh the big story of course talking about this presidential ticket money uh the writer says uh rules out consensus uh on daily independent uh the first writer there says lawyers participation in election now business to end profit are you of the opinion that um it is it would have been better if the money was pegged before um, aspirants could have expressed their interests yeah either ways i think what, what matters you know is the uh the mood you know and uh, uh the, 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 the price tag. The, yes yes the price tag so that that is what really really matters because you know with this with this with this price tag now how many people how many people will be able to say yes i want to come out in fact you don't, don't be surprised yesterday i was you know reading on the piece to about uh, uh vice president that you know with his uh with his track record you know his his um his, his courage and all of that that i will be able to you know gather that kind of money you know but in nigerian society you know we can be dramatic sometimes you know even somebody you never expected you know will have that kind of money will say yeah, i will bring have that i have more than that. that yes so it's just quite unfortunate and 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 you feel this is a, a plot uh, by APC to you know drop to sieve out the most expensive among the party members. I think uh, if you want to uh, draw people, if you want to scare people away, I think this is not the best way. There are other ways, like you know, uh, what what is your track record? What is your ability? Then what is your popularity? How 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 much are you being you know uh, accepted you know by the people? So because the politics, especially in democracy, is about the people, not about you. So if you have the money, you have everything. In sense society, there are instances we have people you know who are billionaires, you know who have all the stakes. But 
at the end of the day, it is the will of the people that will count in the end, but that is not happening here. So if they want to go by the way of, you know, trying to scare people away to drop some certain tests, sell, certain set of people that is not the way to go i think there are other criteria they can you know engage in to ensure that you know they screen people and just you know they 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 they, they, they allow just a few people a few people in the contest and you know they go to the pool yes uh, on the daily trust newspaper uh they're saying apc is on the fire right now so adebayo what is your ideal price really if i were to ask you what do you think would have been uh, the ideal price tag for the nomination ticket films. Well, I am not a car car member of uh, a political party, neither if it's regardless. APC, regardless, but I think uh, uh, the, 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 the political party should be able to come up with a price, you know, that can be affordable, you know, to a party member. Though there's no doubt about the fact that, you know, uh, uh, in election, ele election is very expensive even in civil society, but at least it should be something, you know, that could be affordable, you know, that, you know, a, 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 a layman in a party, you know, could be able to say, okay, yes, I want to, you know, I want to, I, 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 want, I want to obtain. Hmm. Okay, so you do not have a price tag. I yet. do not have a price. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Uh, of course, the stories are on all the newspapers for this morning. Uh, let's uh, look at the uh, Daily Trust newspaper, uh, other stories on that uh, paper right there. From the very top, we see PDP rakes in 646 million naira from 17 presidential aspirant and form sales. And that is on page 10. Besides that, on page 23, farmers merchants disappointed as prices of grains continue to drop in Taraba. That story is on page 23. On the lower banner, uh, we see Nigerian Air Force airstrike kills six children, destroys houses in Niger. That story, of course, is a development story from yesterday's uh, story. We read out this uh, on this Nigerian Now show. That is on page five of the Daily Trust newspaper. Uh, we move uh, Before we go to the next uh, story right there, just underneath that, we see Nigeria's subsidies have significant negatives. That's coming from the World Bank. Of course, that story is on the Daily Trust newspaper. To Nigerian News Direct paper from the very top, we see BUI announces 184.6 billion naira gross earnings in 2021. And then we see NAF to investigate cost of trainer aircraft crash in Kaduna. That is on page 21. But besides that, Buhari says Darye Nyame pardon in line with constitution will not derail anti-corruption war. What is your take, Adebayo, on this story? Talking about these important personalities in this context, Darye and Nyame pardon. Uh, it is a well-known fact that uh, uh, this presidential pardon is constitutional. Mm -hmm. But, you know, when you are making some move, some time as a leader, you, there, there is need to put on your discretion at a very high alert because uh, if your discretion is off target, there are some mistakes that you will make that will, uh, you know, that will, that will, that will, that will uh, damage, you know, you know, your courage and whatever legacy you want to leave behind as a leader and that is what the president and the presidency has refused to do because uh, you if you if you look at these two people they are they are two term governors you know who said from 1999 to 2007 and you know they were they were being accused you know uh, they were alleged that they, they embezzled money mm. i think a 1.6 billion naira each and uh, it took nigeria or let me say the anti-graft agency 11 years 2007 to 2018 mm. for them to be convicted and you know they were convicted that truly they embezzled this money and now you see a government who leverage this same problem that nigeria has been faced with over over the years that say when i come in i'm going to you know campaign against this i'm going to eradicate this totally and you see the same government you know giving pardon to these people now two things we really really can't you know in this situation number one is that it's going to demoralize you know those who are involved in this fight because if you look at the anti-graft agency the years you see they spend millions of of, of money i mean i mean you just a million amount of money i think i, I was reading uh, a report yesterday that uh, you know the anti-graft agency you in fact uh, peter clark uh, 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 a uk officer who uh, who arrested that uh, was it Dari. Yeah, with uh, a four thousand, I mean forty thousand, forty thousand pounds, and that uh, this same man bought a pen for seven thousand pounds. So they had to, you know, fly the guy from UK to Nigeria to come and to come and witness. And a lot of money like that has been spent. So you know, of what use 
are these resources. These resources could have been used to provide basic amenities for Nigerians. Mm -hmm. And the second point is that this will really, really, you know, give momentum. It's going to encourage money baggers and, you know, those who care less about the welfare of Nigerians. And don't, don't forget, prior to 2020, I mean, 2019 general election, former chairman of the APC, um, Adam Oshiomole, made a statement that if you are a corrupt, I want to remember the way he put it, but I just want to summarize it that mm. if you come to APC, whatever the sin you might have committed will be forgiven. And we are seeing this now. So we are seeing it play yeah, out. Yes, we are seeing we are seeing this now. And whether for political ex expediency or for whatever reason, I don't see President Mahmoud Buhari to give pardon this presidential pardon to this because it's really really going to demoralize those who are involved in the fight against this and it's going to really really encourage you know nigerian citizens especially public servants you know to to to, to continue to uh, uh, indulge in this act just very, to get very you very clearly you feel that this would have served as a good uh, 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 um, e example for Nigerians to follow yes. if they had not been pardoned. Yes. All right, uh, we'll move over to the Daily Times newspaper. And of course, the big story there is uh, APC pegs presidential form at 100 million naira, 50 million naira for governorship form. And we see a story there talking about education uh, just underneath that. Uh, below the lower banner, ASU accuses federal government of failure to prioritize varsity education. That is on page three. Do you not uh, feel or think that Nigeria uh, prioritizes education very, takes it very seriously, especially talking about varsity? We are not taking it seriously. And, you know, it is one of the means in which Nigerian political elites are, you know, subjugating the potential, you know, to limit and to keep people on the spot. Because if you don't have education, there is no way you can take care of yourself. You cannot even know your rights. You cannot, you, you just, you are limited mm. in this present century, in this generation. And that is what they have been doing. If, you, if, they, if they really take, you know, faculty education so seriously, you will see the uh, effort they will have been making. You can compare the effort they are, they are putting into, you know, coming back to the office to what they are putting into that sector over mm. time there is no successive governments in this country you know that do not have this problem but the question is why is it always education 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 mm. and we say the only the most powerful weapon to change the world to transform people's life is through education and if you say okay you love people you want to transform their lives you want you you, you, you want them to know their right to exercise their, their to, to unleash their potential to be who God has designed them to be, this, that, and all of that. So they need education. And we have seen them talking about this over and over time. But why is it difficult for them? You can see now, it's not going to take them a lot of tasks to raise funds to come back to office. Mm. But you see them. Million yes, for yes, yes. You see them watching this sector, you know, going down the rain and all of that. So it is just quite pathetic. And, you know, I think this should be part of what is going to inform, you know, uh, uh, the, the, the citizens' decision as to who, who they are going to cast the their ballot for country. Definitely, I agree with you on that one. On national economy, the big story is forex scarcity, impute short supply, further slow Nigeria's productive sectors. And then, uh, just on the blueprint newspaper, of course, the big story applies in all papers talking about APC presidential ticket. A uh, 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 price tag 100 million naira. And don't forget, you can also stay updated on our website www.tostvnetwork.com on happenings and updates uh, from across Nigeria and Africa because we are digital first Pan African news network. Thank you so much, Adibai, for joining us today. You're welcome. And thank you, viewers, for coming away again tomorrow. Until then, be safe and come back tomorrow and join us here on Nigeria now. Thank you so much. I am merciful, Ajinamo.